Jake, now you know the drill. Um, yeah, so obviously it's been a, we've had about a seven week break. It's been nice, really nice and refreshing break actually. A lot of the hard work was done prior to obviously the season finishing, bringing Boots and Petchy in, obviously getting Ryan back on boards. I think if you look at last pre-season, where we had to obviously transfer from the Hellenic 2 into the Oxfordshire Senior, it was a tough pre-season because obviously I lost 12 players uh, to go and play higher. You can never obviously stand in the way of players obviously wanting to go and play higher. And then really the pre-season was very, very disjointed about scrapping around, trying to get players in. <laughs> this year is obviously we've got, we've retained the 13, 14 players. Then obviously we've gone out and looked at obviously where we can obviously improve in the players, but it's been a, it's been an, e an easy sell. Obviously there's players that I've identified I want to bring into the football club, and there's also been players that have been playing from high leagues or playing at, at the same level as Step Six that have looked at the progress of the football club, and you know it's an exciting place to be. We've got a very very tough pre-season, so we're playing the likes of Long Butby, uh, Litchfield City. They're, they're a top team. Um, so when we play them games, we'll kind of get an idea of where we are. So most of the games are step six, step five. So obviously we're looking at obviously playing teams that are at our level and obviously the progression, the next progression for me and my kids within the next cycle, whether that's three to five years, is obviously trying to achieve step five football, which is guaranteed FA Cup football. So to obviously we need to obviously know what the level is and what the better teams at that level look like. As you can see from the session tonight, um, we've got um, one of my old uh, friends in. I used to play with Coops at Nuneaton Borough. He's got his own kind of fitness business, so obviously he's come over and done some uh, some personal training bits and a uh, bit of boot camp, bit of team building and and that kind of stuff. And it's just great to obviously get him over. You know, as soon as obviously he knew we were back, obviously at the same professional level, he, he picked the phone up and said, Rich, you need a hand with pre-season. Um, so it's a no-brainer, obviously, to get him in a different dimension to pre-season. I'm Adam Cooper, I'm a personal trainer stroke coach. Uh, Pitt is my, my company, um, an independent little PT company based in Nuneaton, um, doing online things as well. Uh, previously I was a semi-professional footballer, that's how I know Rich the gaffer, we were in the youth team together in Nuneaton Borough. Tonight was all about um, basically games and giggles, trying to get the lads together. I believe we've got a new squad, obviously got promoted last season. Um, but there's a new, some new players in here, so it's obviously integrating everyone else. And I used to dread the first pre-season session when you turn up and you think it's just going to be running. So tonight was just all about having a laugh, getting the lads having a bit of banter. They all look in shape. There's some fit lads there. You can see they've done a bit in the post-season, so pre-season. Um, and if the fitness is to do, they go on to the football with the same side, then I think they'll do well again, to be honest. We had a discussion as a management group, we didn't, didn't want them to go away and obviously do nothing, but we obviously didn't want to push them, we wanted to make sure they had their mental break and, and uh, their time to rest. So we set up a, a, a Strava app where they've done kind of, we, we set up a challenge, how many kilometres they, they could do. We, uh, we set that up, set them little goals for the first week. Uh, week one was something like 5k runs. We weren't really bothered about the timings and how long they did it. It was about the motion. It was, to me, the mindset is massive. Um, when you're going to come through the winter months, it's going to be relentless, it's going to be cold, it's going to be dark. You know, that's the time when you've been at work and that, that you've got to fight through because then you've got to turn up and you've got to perform. So for me personally, it was a case of them getting them off their uh, backsides and uh, getting the trainers on and going through the motions. You saw last year how fit the team was, you know, and they'll be able to hit the ground running in terms of pre-season. So, yes, yeah, they, should, they should be able to obviously do, do the sessions and obviously recover quickly. One of the things, obviously, now we're back at some professional level, you know, the, the bar had to be raised in terms of, obviously, the, the staff. Um, obviously, I can continue, obviously, doing a lot of, obviously, the coaching and and obviously try to manage and obviously the off-field off stuff with the committee and all that kind of stuff. So obviously it's about delegating. So we've got a really strong management group this year. So Petchy and Boots, for the most part, will be looking after the coaching. Um, obviously assistant managers, obviously Ryan will obviously be uh, first team coach and obviously doing bits and bobs on the coaching front and obviously observing and obviously giving feedback and all that kind of stuff. And then obviously we've got Alan obviously back on board as a goalkeeping coach. My name's Lee Walkinshaw. Everyone knows me as Boots in the football world. Um, I'm here to be assistant manager for Rich K for Southern United. Um, my role um, when I came into play um, towards the end of last season, a little bit of observation, give them some bullet points, talk about things, how we can move forward, how we can strive to obviously move this club forward. And I, I like what I see. I'm Lee Petch. I'm coming in as the new assistant manager at Southam. Uh, really excited to be here. Joined uh, last couple of weeks 
of the previous season, so I got to know the club a little bit more, some of the players, a little bit about everything moving forwards. Tonight is all about getting the lads back together. It's the first kind of pre-season, so it's blowing the cobwebs away a little bit. Everyone looks forward to the first one. Uh, lots of new faces. Um, so the first session's about bringing Coops in, uh, getting some kind of the pre-season uh, fitness. And then once we finish with that, myself and Boots will go off into our own sessions. Petra take them through patterns work, that's his sort of forte, that's how we bounce off each other. Then I'll do a lot of technical work, a lot of detail. We're a massive believer in um, ball retention, a lot of confidence. You know, you've all come here to play football, so you want to touch the football, you know, and that's the way me and Petra run things together. Uh, I'm going to look at a little bit more about the technical side of it. Some of the lads have not played for, for six or seven weeks now, so it's just getting used to the ball again. I personally think these guys are like trophies already. They just need polishing. I think there's some fantastic players in the squad. The new players were brought in. Young, which is great. It gives um, everybody a lot of confidence. So I'm a massive believer, obviously, with uh, my last role in youth football. And it's going to be exciting. It really is. Uh, I think we've got a squad that we're looking really hopeful with. Uh, we've got really good competition in places. So all over the field, we've got kind of good backup. Uh, backup potentially could be first choice. So it just shows that a club like Southam, step six, um, we're quietly optimistic. Uh, we'll just prepare the lads in the right way. We'll play some good football and uh, we'll see what happens. Obviously, again, moving up from step seven to step six, you know, for me, the top teams in step seven were in the league last year. I think they'd hold their own in step six, but however, there are some really good semi-professional sides and semi-professional management groups and teams, and obviously in the, in the division we're going to go into, and in general, obviously you've got the FA Cup, FA Vars. Um, the lads, you know, in terms of the group we had last year, the 16, 17 we had last year, absolutely fantastic, you know, to get their club promoted. Um, but, you know, you can never stand still. So it's, it, was, it was about identifying the, the key areas that we need to obviously improve and more importantly, have more depth. Um, the expectations for this coming season, we're going to have a very, very strong squad built on the squad from last year. And, you know, I'm, you know, I'm very experienced now. I'm going to my ninth se season as a first team manager. Out of them nine seasons, I've only ever finished out of top six twice. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a clue in terms of my what we're building towards um, hopefully it's this season that'd be fantastic if it's not it'll be a building process um, consolidation and obviously keep building you know there's no pressure on us now the the main aim for the football club was to get back to step six as quickly as we can send professional football now we're into a new cycle myself mike the staff the players are all on the same page now where it's a building process however you look at the quality players we've got the ones that we've added, you know, and I'm quietly confident it should be another good season. Alongside, obviously, the progress making on the, on, on the pitch, obviously off the pitch now is flying. I mean, it's really, really gaining momentum now. It's kind of at the stage where we're doing more in kind of like a month where we've, we've not done in two years or a year. Uh, Mike's been absolutely phenomenal. You know, he's, he's up here full time alongside his businesses, the amount that's getting done. So the things the supports can look forward to, obviously we've got the bar in now, so we've got the license sorted. So from the first pre-season game, we can obviously start making income and revenue through the bar. Uh, the snack bar will be operating as well. Uh, the dugouts will be getting done to finish off kind of like the, uh, the, the, the playing fields, the playing, the playing surface as well. So the dugouts will be getting done. Obviously the Consti as well, I've got to mention, is doing a full time, well, a part time job on the pitch. That's in full maintenance at the minute. We'll have a really good surface come probably the Griff game, but it's an ongoing process in terms of the pitch. Uh, we've sold season tickets, we've got the junior memberships, we've, which have you know done really, really well. Um, so, again, what Mike's kind of vision and myself as first team manager, we want to close that gap between the juniors and the first team, you know, one club, uh, which will be really good to have the juniors at the game, the parents, uh, the coaches, especially on match days. Yeah, we just want to make it a community experience and a, an experience for everybody that comes, you know, the, the season tickets have done really well. So I'm expecting, you know, I thought we had some really good turnouts towards the end of last season, you know, for the Bista game and other games. This season's going to be different because we'll have our home support and you've got to remember that a lot of teams are bringing away support as well. Now we're back at a level. So it should create some really good atmospheres at BHP. Um, and obviously the midweek games, we're playing a lot more midweek games, which for me is a, 
is a big favourite because I love playing under the lights. It was like, as soon as we got that promotion sorted and that top, top five kind of guaranteed and the application was in and accepted and stuff like that, it was, it was the, 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 uh, the weight of the expectation, the pressure just melted away from me. And now this season, I've said to the lads, we can just enjoy it now as a process. And the players can, the management can, you know, this season we go into it, we know nothing about the league, they know nothing about us. We can go into it pressure free. Um, but like I said, again, I think we'll play some really good football and I'm, I'm expecting another really good, exciting season.